In preparation for selecting your courses for next school year, we need to review the graduation requirements for all classes, beginning with the class of 2016 and beyond. Last time, we reviewed the State of Hawaii graduation requirements for the class of 2016 and beyond. Today, you will be provided with your own transcript, or official academic record, that lists all of the classes you have taken and earned credit for or failed in the past. We will be going over each part of the transcript and then breaking it down in parts for you to follow along. Teachers, please distribute the student transcripts and the graduation requirement checklist form. What is a transcript? A transcript is a student's official academic record. It contains a list of all courses, grades, and credits, provides the credits earned towards graduation, and provides class rank and cumulative GPA or grade point average. This is what a typical transcript looks like. Your transcript may look similar to this, depending on the amount of courses you have taken or how long you have been in school. Let's look at the various parts of a transcript. At the top of the page, you will find your demographic information, like name, date of birth, your student ID number, etc. Enrollment history and transcript statistics. In this area, it shows your cumulative GPA and class rank. The bottom portion of your transcript shows all of the courses you have taken. They are grouped by the year that the courses were taken, along with the title of the course, ACCN number, grade, and credit earned. The total credits earned at the end of the year is also indicated. The credit summary may be confusing for some of you. Pay attention to the very bottom where the total credits are indicated. Remember, in order to be promoted to the next grade level, one must earn a minimum of 5 credits for the 10th grade, 11 credits for the 11th grade, and 17 credits for 12th grade. Ultimately, a total of 24 specific credits are needed to graduate and earn a high school diploma. Using the graduation requirement checklist, you will be able to analyze your transcript to see if you are on track for graduation. As much as possible, please follow the steps as I go through them so you understand how to complete each part. Just as a reminder, this form is a requirement for your PTP, so do not throw it away or lose it. Another template may be accessed in your PTP Google Classroom. If after this you have questions because you took a course and failed, or you have credits that were transferred or took cr courses that are not listed, please see your counselor. The first part is English. Four total credits must be earned, with specific credits in English LA1, English LA2, and two English electives. Refer to your transcript and locate under your ninth grade year, English Language Arts 1. Write in the grade and the credit you earned. For example, the grade equals C, credit equals 1, under the ninth column as shown. Similarly, you should have taken road history and culture in your freshman year. In this case, a grade of C and 1 credit were earned. With math, most of you took Algebra 1 in your freshman year. A grade of B and 1 credit were earned in this particular case. However, some of you may have taken it in your 8th grade year and took geometry in your freshman year. In this case, list both under 9th grade. If you retook a failed course, then place it under the year you passed it. If you took another course, like MOW1 or 2, you must write them in. Like math, most of you took physical science in your 9th grade year. A B and 1 credit were earned for this student. However, there are several of you who started off with biology in your freshman year. Notice that physical science is not a graduation requirement. So, if you did not take it or failed it, it is not necessary to retake it. But, you will need to take another lab science course. Take note that biology is required for graduation. This school year, freshmen are now taking environmental science. This may be written in for the science elective. For this category, Please ensure that the two classes you list are from the same specified program of study. In this case, the student passed Hawaiian 1, A and B with grades of C and B respectively. Next year, this student should enroll in Hawaiian 2, A and B and pass to fulfill this graduation requirement. 
To ensure that you are taking courses in the same program of study, the ACCN number should start with the same letters. For CTE courses, TPC7010, or the Public and Human Service Pathway, and TPU7216 Culinary 1, the TP indicates two courses in the same pathway, WPH1000 and WPH2000, the WP indicates the two courses in the same language, in this case, Hawaiian. For PE, this student passed 9th grade PE with a C and earned half a credit. Next year, this student should enroll in a PE course that qualifies for the basic elective PE, like swimming, physical fitness, physical ed, lifetime activities, or individual dual sports, as well as health. Please refer to your 2020 to 2021 registration guide. Note, team sports and weight training do not count as a basic PE credit. The half credit for your PTP will be issued the semester you complete it. Just know that this is a graduation requirement, so without it, you would not be able to graduate and or participate in the graduation ceremony. All other courses that do not fall under any category above should be listed under electives. In this case, Transition to High School and Team Sports 1 and 2 are listed. At the end of the year, this student earned 7 credits for the 9th grade year and cumulatively. Remember that minimally, a student needs to earn 5 credits in order to be promoted to the 10th grade, 11 credits for the 11th grade, and 17 credits for 12th grade. 11th graders. Please continue filling out the courses for your 10th grade year. Keeping track of your own grades and credits will help to ensure graduation in four years. If you have any questions or concerns, please see your counselor immediately. Knowing your status towards graduation will aid you in picking your classes for the next school year. Keyvice will be featuring various courses, so stay tuned. In the next stars, be aware that we will be receiving the 2020 to 2021 registration guide which provides a description of all the courses that may be offered next year to select your classes. You'll also be watching KVICE for information on various courses. Receiving your official 2020 to 2021 registration form and obtaining teacher signatures and turning in your official registration form to your STARS teacher on December 9th.